there, football freaks. Get set for a furious fandango of football. We're coming to you live from the Gigantacorp King Size Dome, where two exciting football teams will play for the right to be called champion of the world. We're at the Gigantacorp King Size Dome, the only stadium on Earth large enough to hold the Gridiron Grit Cereal Bowl. Hang on to your helmet, sports fans, because we've got a heck of a game heading your way. The Electric Orcas battle the Flying Melon Heads. Sunny Day here, along with a one-man pig pile, Chuck Danfield. Thanks, Sonny. Glad to be here. Uh, I think. Well, let's get this show on the road. The Backyard Football League would like to thank Gridiron Grits for sponsoring today's event. All right, we're the home team. We'll be starting it off. Cold pizza for breakfast. Yellow dog, pickles, right, retro, cootie, cootie, over, rollo. So the question is, which is gonna which is gonna win them the game? Will it be their offense or will it be our defense that wins them the game? And whatever that is, we just have to make sure that that's not the case. Slam the shotgun, skater, pickles, golfer. George got it. But the flying metal hunts are actually supposed to be somewhat good. Uh, four yards. This looks like a pass play, so I'll just play it like it's a pass. That's good. That's good. That's good. All right, we'll go. We'll go custom one, which I still don't get quite get why they don't blitz. Oh yeah, they have to wait one second regardless. One Mississippi. That's the cereal bowl. I did good. Now the question again is, who, what's going to give? I'm going to need you to catch that, Kenny. Please catch that. Second and okay. Back to throw. Mississippi. Two Mississippi. Just gotta waste time off the clock. Waste so much time off the clock. It's picked off. And that's not at all what you wanna see. That's the last thing I wanna see on this cereal bowl. Did you know that two wrongs don't make a right, but two rights made an airplane? From the eye. Right. Sixteen. One Mississippi. Two Mississippi. Okay. And if we stop him here. It's a pass point. No, it's a lie. No, that was a lie. And three. Yeah. On the Orcas. Forty-seven yard line. Two Mississippi. Power two. Forty-four. Two blue. Right. Hut, hut. One Mississippi. Hut, hang on. Good job, Jacinda. Good job, Jacinda. Good job, Jacinda. Good job. Good job. Good job. Good job. Okay, we're at the 30. Let's go super. And and Mississippi. Mississippi. Whoa, okay. Somebody's been practicing. Okay, we'll just go ahead and kick for the field ready the extra point here. Uh, let's see what happens here. Good. 
That's it for the first quarter. Okay, so we lost two fumbles. Well, we got ourselves picked off, but we recovered with two fumbles. We stopped them from running the ball. They've only gotten 37 yards. They've only... Our, our saving grace is that we've gone over the air. One Mississippi, two Mississippi. I like to do that. Sixteen. Yonder. Left. One Two alligator. Two alligator. Again, the question is, can we stop them? Now, I know we get the ball in the second half. Okay, so it's third down, 26 to go. We can probably stop him. Yeah, I say probably. So there's also that chance that they'll just... Oh no, they're not gonna punt, I don't think. Oh, they're punting. What if they made CFL? BBFL, but they made a Canadian? Well, I mean, I know it's not going to happen now, but would have been a cool story. And so I guess Vicky will have the second touchdown as well. I just love targeting Vicky. Her grace with the football is what I like, except when she fumbles it, in which case there is no grace. There's no saving grace on her. Okay, so, we've basically stopped their passing game from being too dangerous, I mean. So I'm pretty certain their offense is pretty dangerous. Second and 14. Yellow dog! One Mississippi, two Mississippi. Did you see that play? Everybody's gonna play man. Did he get it? Did he get it? He got it. Thank you. Sit down, and they're gonna use Leapfrog. So they won't get all 12 yards, they'll probably get... No, they got all 12. I guess you jump 10 feet in the air, and you go 10... Then the trajectory makes you go a little bit further. Is what I'm guessing. Though I don't know for certain. Yeah, as long as there's time on the clock... It was tipped twice, actually, but okay. Yeah. Eight seconds is third and sixteen. They have one shot. Now they'll probably go for a field goal because that's a safe play here. Bert, on for the field goal. Of course, I don't know. I'm sure all parents in the crowd are pretty excited for their kids to, you know, just see them in the cereal bowl. Okay, so 
we've had 38 seconds. We've gotten 160 yards passing and 10 yards rushing. Which shows how strong their rush defense is, but we they don't have a pass defense. Or we have really good offensive geniuses. Long So it's three to twenty now. Twenty to three. Yeah. Frankly, I don't see him winning this game at this point. Man, Attention good. all game fans. At this time we ask you to pick Yellow up your dog. area and return Side your TV swipe. tray to the top of the position. Knowing me, I'd probably give up two quick touchdowns because of fumbles. From the eye. Around the outside. I'm good. I'll go custom one. Bert will be putting it away. I deem it as a safe option. Superman! Yonder! Over! Hut! One Mississippi! Hut! One Mississippi! Two Mississippi! Mm. Okay, let's get some... Let's get some yards here. Oh! I was confused on which direction that play was going. That'll be enough for the first down. And two touchdowns, for Pablo Sanchez. One rushing, one receiving, two receiving touchdowns for uh Vicky Kawaguchi, which is good. And Kenny Kawaguchi got a, a two-point conversion, so that's always good. Especially when Kenny does it. Mmm, Kenny. I'm guessing they're gonna go in not the what I was expecting. Oops, that was the wrong play call. That was the wrong play call. Nice job. Got over the defender who was just waiting for the ball to gradually come down. That's good. That's some good defense. They're not gonna fake it, so I might as well, I might as well just go with punt return. Down 20. Whoa, They're 
ran out of bounds. That's good. Waste their power up. And it was cough drop, so now I can do so magnets. On their own, 36 yard line. Rolls out. Goes out of bounds. Attention all game fans. At this time, we ask you to pick up your area and return your TV trays to their upright Around the outside. Pulls ahead for a gain of... From the eye, the pitch to Pablo tries the outside. Did I get it? I did not. Okay. On the melon head, 34 yard line. And that should clinch it, really. It should. There is 27 seconds left on the clock. So it may or may not, depending on who you are and what you do for a living, really. But yeah, I'll say after 10 seconds, he'll probably be it. Was covering that well, there you go. Perfect. Oh. See if we can get some more yards on this roly poly play. The old Bumble Rooski play works every time. Okay. Three seconds left on the clock. We have not kicked a successful field goal all season. Is this the field? Is this the thing? Right. Setting up for Yellow a field goal. Dog. 16. 16. This is it. <laughs> we have the worst place kicker in the world. Slash for about nine. That's it, folks. The Orcas have done it. They are the champs. This was just an unbelievable performance. Woo! We're the champs. Another great game of VFL football has come to a close. For Chuck Downfield. With the order of Game Captain Roller 1. <laughs> And we are BFL champions. So that's good and all. Oh, that was a pun return that we caught last time. Oh. 48 yards. So long as kick returns 89. Oh well. Uh, so I just kind of wanted to look at the melon heads. Melon heads were seven and seven, actually. They barely beat the Broncos and the Frogs. Meanwhile, we barely beat the Rockets. And then we just beat them pretty badly, so. That's good and all. We could do exhibitions against the other teams in the, uh, 
in the league if I want to, or you could continue on. Personally, I don't. Uh, after playing this again, I kind of really remember exactly why I didn't really like this game to begin with. Or I got rid of the game in the first place, because it's really short, it's really kind of easy once you get a handle of it. Yeah, once you get a handle of this game, it's actually not that hard. And because it's not that hard, uh, it's really simplistic, but then it'll change on you too. Like, sometimes, you know, like, like, it's the simplest thing in the world, and then sometimes, it won't. You know? <sighs> but you know what? I'm cool with this. So, in any case, that's it. Unless you guys want to see more, I'll hold on to this game for a little bit, but, like... Nah, I won't do that. I won't do that. Oh, look, you can change the length of the game in Coach's Challenge. Of course, I bet you have to control one of those teams. But, uh, in any case, thanks for watching. Uh, I'm sorry it didn't seem like I'm enthusiastic. I wasn't, really, because I remember how poorly I do in this game. Poor, either poorly or dominant I do in this game. And, frankly, I don't know. It doesn't have the same feel as the other sports. At least this one. But I remember this one specifically because this was the first one that I remember coming out. And it had so many stars. It had Brett Favre. He had the old Jerry Rice. The one that could catch a lot really well, not the one that could run. Had Javon Curse. He had Rich Gannon. He had Peyton Manning. Rich Gannon. Ricky, well, Ricky Williams was on the set game. They had Terrell, Terrell Davis the year before he retired. Oh, she can run a little. I don't know, however, how they come up with these overall systems here. Because personally, these two aren't the weakest players I've seen so far. Just, I don't think she's necessarily weak. Or Luann. Otwit's actually pretty decent. I guess they're about mid-tier. And I don't know how Jerry's up there, because Jerry can't catch. But, okay. I'm done now. So, I'll see you guys in another series or whatever. Bye!